Hello, I'm James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we're going to learn how you can use tube model compressor in Adobe Premiere Pro. In the older days, people doesn't have access to use software like we are doing right now. We are using Premiere Pro to edit our audio and video. But in the older days, people used to use physical editor to edit the video. They use physical compressor to compress their audio. We are going to mimicking the compressor which is tube model compressor in adobe premiere pro that is a software based compressor but it will output the sound effect in such a way that will sound like very very retro type or if you like vintage sound then you may like this effect so today we are going to learn how you can use that so this is the sample clip that we are going to use today if you want to download it you can download it from the link in the description i'll just uh, click and drag it here to import it on the timeline then I'll go to effects panel to apply the effect. You can just write it tube model compressor or you can go to audio effects then amplitude and compression and the last one is tube model compressor. You can just click and drag it here to apply the effect then go to effects control panel and here you'll see tube model compressor have been applied. If you click edit it will open this window and here you have to change the properties. That is a very very basic single band compressor that is actually heat but it will output the sound that will sound like very vintage type or retro type that is the speciality. So you all know how you can use the single band compressor if you are following this series. Today we are going to learn it again. So how you can use that. First thing is that you will see some preset here you can just select voiceover if you want to use the preset or you can go here and then select default then you can set the properties by yourself if you play it back and then Hello, if you click I'm and drag it then you, you really can change like the threshold nothing is happening it. because we haven't set any ratio so what is the compressor compressor will compress the audio you need to set a threshold that is the level determined by you when that level is crossing Premiere Pro will decrease the volume. Suppose you have set the threshold minus 19 dB. So whenever the volume of your audio is crossing minus 19 dB, Premiere Pro will decrease that level. How much that will determine by ratio. If you set it to, it will decrease the level two times. If you set five, it will decrease the level five times, right? So for voiceover, I like to use four or five ratio. That is a great number. Hello, and now you can see in the attenuation have really been engaged like right but it has decreased the overall volume, volume level by nature whenever you are using a compressor it will decrease the output gain so you need to add more gain to recover it so i'll just add some gain maybe 6 to 10 so if i play it back hello and welcome if you really like retro sound then yeah. this video is for you because Everything today we're going perfect. to learn how you can use tube model compressor so that is the basic of tube model compressor if i just show you the before and after i'll just duplicate it by pressing option or alt then if i just drag it will duplicate that audio clip i'll just right click here and then click render and replace so that you can see the after so this is the before and this is the after it has compressed the audio level a little bit and overall it is sounding better than before because you can see the audio level here is very low but here the audio level have been Hello, increased if you really like retro sound then this video is for you because today we're going to learn how you can use the volume level is perfect so whenever someone is watching your video they doesn't need to decrease or increase the volume level again and again so that is the goal of using compressor so if you like retro or vintage type sound then you can use tube model compressor instead of using a single band compressor or multi-band compressor that is the speciality of a tube model compressor it will make your sound retro type so that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you use this channel you want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.